Hey everybody, welcome to The Waldock Way, I'm Jessica. And today's video is another collaboration with Abby from Full Time Wife Life. And today we are working together to bring you guys educational stocking stuffer ideas. I am probably super excited for this video, like even more so than the gift guide because stocking stuffers are the things that make me bang my head against the wall. So that's what I'm gonna be bringing you today is stocking stuffer ideas. I am going to start with games because well, it's me. And what I'm showing you is by no means an exhaustive list. It's just a few ideas. If you want more ideas, make sure you head up here to my game school videos. I split all of them up by subjects. And in those videos, I specifically tell you like the next however many games I'm going to show you would fit in a stocking. So you'll have even more ideas. My number one stocking stuffer game, if you don't already own it, is surprise, surprise, spot it. It's Emily's favorite. It's such a great game. It can be played by so many different ages because you're spotting shapes and not like words. So it can be played by your younger kids who can't read yet all the way up to your older kids. Um, I enjoy it as an adult. So hands down, number one stocking stuffer, if you don't own it, is spot it. There are a ton of different versions. So if your kid's into Frozen or whatever they're into, I'm sure there's one that is out there for them. Along those same lines, if you do not already own it, would be Blink. It's another um, visual card game. So that would be another one that I highly, highly suggest. If you've already got all your stocking stuffers, your stockings are stuffed, but you still really want to, really, really want to get a game in there, my suggestion is a word shout. It's super small, like tiny little container. The game is contained within this little Tupperware container and it's just letter dice and the rules are you throw the dice and you're trying to shout out words to be able to win the game. So that's a really tiny one that is like small but high impact. If you have a history lover timeline, there's a few different versions. There's um, regular timeline, which is this is the classic one. And then you have inventors and inventions and um, events so different events that happen so if you have a history lover the timeline games which are in these little tins would be a great option for your linguist story cubes are a really great option again they're small enough so they're not going to take up a ton of room and they're awesome if your kids like to tell stories or make stories up that would be a really fun option for kids who love dice games things like quicks um it's very very similar to yahtzee comes with, you know, the pad and the dice. Again, Yahtzee would be a great one. Um, a roll for it is another really great dice game that you could put in there. <clears throat> one of our favorites is Pizza Party. Pizza Party itself is a two-player game. There is a deluxe that lets it go up to, I believe, four players. So keep that in mind when getting it. But it's really small. It would fit in a stocking. It's fun. It's kind of like racing. So it's a really high-impact game as well. And then if you want a card game that is a lot of fun and is really quality, the Grandpa Beck card games, this is nuts about mutts. There's about five different options though. They're in really, really nice packaging. They're very great, great quality and they're really fun games. A few of our other favorite card games that I didn't pull because I didn't go through all of our card games would be um, Uno, Phase 10, Sleeping Queens, Zeus on the Loose, Chomp, you really can't go wrong with any of the game right ones. Um, Rat Attack Cat, Loot, Slam Witch. For your nature enthusiast, we have this is kind of like a game, but it is Go Find It, which is basically a deck of cards that has different prompts for you to find things out in nature. And the prompts are things like light and hard and colors and crunchy. So it's a little bit more in depth than your standard, like find a leaf, find a rock. And it comes in this really great canvas bag that you could throw in your um, backpack or your nature hike walking bag. And um, it's really fun. It gets your kids out in nature. It gets them active. It's a fun way to kind of challenge them a little bit more, especially if you've kind of hit like a lull in your nature study time. Another thing, if you're wanting something specific to your area, these are fantastic. They're by Waterford Press. And um, they're like these waterproof pamphlets because they're thick and they're laminated and they have a ton of information. They're front and back. 
and you can look up your state. I think almost every state has them. And for instance, we have Florida wildlife, Florida seashore life, Florida wildflowers and trees, Florida birds, and then Florida butterflies and moth. The butterflies and moth is the only one I'm not sure they have in every state, but like um, and this, then the seashore too, but the trees, the birds, and the wildlife, I'm almost positive every state has those available. So you would just look up your state. Another fun option for identification are these pocketbooks by Usborne. They're about the size of a postcard and they have really great information inside. Awesome pictures too. So we have mammals, birds, ocean animals, and insects. There's a few others in this series as well. If you have a kid who really loves space, the Usborne 100 Things to Spot in the Night Sky would be a really great option. So it comes with the southern and northern sky maps. And then in these maps around the circle tells you the month. So for instance, in the northern sky in the month of October, you should be able to spot the things that are blue. So you would come to the cards that are included and you would find all of the blue cards here. And those are the things you would know to look for in the night sky during that month. So I think that's a really awesome way to, um, you know, give your child a little more independence over what they can and can't see and to narrow it down a little more than to have, you know, this giant space book like, okay, here's everything that's in the night sky. Well, that narrows it down to a little more specific. It's not as overwhelming for children that way. And then the other thing that I highly recommend is this pocket microscope. It has an LED light on it that you just push a button to turn on. Um, this was actually an Emily stocking last year. It is a really, really awesome. We use it all the time. It's lightweight. It's not heavy at all. It's pretty much, I'm not going to say indestructible, but we haven't broken it and it's rolled around in a backpack for months and it's less than $10. So this would be great for your nature enthusiast, your science enthusiast, your curious kid. I mean, it's awesome for so many things. And it comes off of the base, so you could just use this to look through as well. Obviously, another idea would be a pocket binocular set. For your artist, obviously, don't forget that you can include pretty much any medium you like. Um, a set of watercolors is always a great option. A new set of paint brushes. You can always include you know, a set of chalk pastels, um, liquid watercolors, pretty much any art medium that they don't have or that they would be really into. New pencils, new um, markers, you know, a really, really great pencil sharpener. All of those are really fun options for your artist. So whatever is their preferred medium or maybe whatever medium they don't have yet would be a really fun option. The next set of things that I'm going to be showing you are like activity books that would be really good for a stocking stuffer. The first one for your younger crowd is the Little Dover activity books. They're smaller than the size of your hand and there's tons and tons of options like nature, sea, farm. So whatever your child is into, they will have one and they'll probably have multiples in that theme. So there's Follow the dots and mazes, um, hidden pictures, coloring books, and they run between 99 cent and $1.99. So extremely affordable as for a stocking stuffer as well. The um, trivia from Usborne is really great. We've been doing the animal trivia with you guys. This is the general knowledge trivia. They run about $4.99 and it is packed full of trivia questions. So if you have a trivia lover, get them one of these books. Usborne also has a good size um, crossword puzzle and word searches. There's lots of different themes and they're full color. So they're really, really fun for kids. They also have a few different pads that would be a good size. They have math pads. There's a few different traveling pads. Um, I think there's a times table one. And the, what's awesome is these have the pages that rip off in full color as well. Don't forget that if your kid loves Mad Libs, you can always throw Mad Libs in there. You have the option of Mad Libs in tons of different topics and Mad Libs Junior. And then um, this is technically it goes with nature, but it's an activity book as well, would be a nature journal. So this is the one that matches Nature Anatomy from Julia Rothman. And it is a fantastic one. Usborne has a really awesome one. Um, there are tons of nature journals out there. So whatever one looks like it would appeal to your child. But the last few things I have are just kind of odds and ends. While they're wonderful, they don't have a specific category. If you have an independent reader, a book light is a great option. 
Um, especially if your child wants to stay up a little later. Our deal is that she can stay up as late as she wants if she's reading. So that is a fantastic option. Um, if you have a Lego enthusiast, one of my favorite things to do is to buy these little Lego people in bulk on Amazon. You can get them like in 24 and 48. I buy normally one a year and they are always come, at least all the ones I've ever purchased come individually wrapped and then they just have to build them. So these are fantastic for fitting inside a stocking. They're also fantastic for sitting and in, fitting inside plastic Easter eggs um, in case you're looking for that as well. And I just pull, you know, four or five out of my big bag that I buy whenever I need them. So that is a great option. I don't have the actual container for these because we don't save them. We keep them all in a big box. But the Safari LTD tubes are like a long um, skinny tube. So it would definitely fit in a stocking. They have some of the best looking little animals and creatures. And they're about $10. They have um, world landmarks and they have, you know, specific Things like ocean or Arctic, they have um, just cats, just dogs, they have different region ones like there's um, a down under which would be more um, Australia, um, tons and tons of tons. Look up Safari LTD tubes and you are going to find one that your child will love because there's a ton of them. Another really great option are wrap ups. They have them in addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and states and capitals. What is really awesome is that they're self-checking. So the one I'm going to show you is addition. It goes 1 through 10. And what you would do is, for instance, this would be 3 plus 1. So you would wrap this from 3 over to 4. And then the next time would be 6 plus 1 is 7. So you would wrap that to the 7. And then you keep going. They're self-checking because when you flip it over, there are these little grooves on the back. And your string should cover them all up. So you shouldn't be able to see any of them when you're done. So that is a really, really great option for children. Another fantastic option, and this may even be one of our favorites. It's definitely one of our favorite homeschool resources. And that is the scrunch maps. They come with these cute little drawstring bags. I have no idea where they're at. But these maps are awesome. We have the um, United States and the world. What's great is this material is almost... I'm going to say indestructible. I'm sure there's something you could do to ruin it, but it doesn't rip. It doesn't tear. Um, we have spilled water on it and it hasn't you know, gotten messed up. You can crumple it up into a ball. You can fold it. There's really nothing you can do to mess them up. They are really fantastic for homeschooling, especially if you have a small space and you don't have room for like a globe or the wall space for a map. These can fold up and just fit in a drawer. So they're really, really wonderful. And then if you have some older kids, this is eight and plus, so it wouldn't be good for your small kids. But these tiny science kits are amazing from Cordo. They um, really, I'm like, they're, it's tiny tools, but it really is science. So they have a baking one, which is 20 enormously delicious recipes. And then this is a science. It's 20 enormously fun experiments. And I believe there's even a few other topics. So this would be really, really fun for older kids. I actually can't wait to open these and do them with Emily. And then my very, very last suggestion is going to be a letter subscription. There are a ton to choose from. I did a video recently, so I will link it up here with a few of the different options in the homeschool community right now. There are already even more than that. But there are options out there for every child. So if your child's into animals, if they're into geography, if they're into nature, um, history, there is a subscription letter for them. And the subscription letters run about $6 a month. And it would be really fun to just stick the very first letter, you know, in the stocking. And most of the subscription letters let you put in whoever they're going to be to. So it would even have your child's name on it. So it would be really, really fun. That's all of my stocking stuffer ideas. Please leave your stocking stuffer ideas in the comments down below because I know we can all use all the ideas we can get. Don't forget to head over to Abby's channel at Full Time Wife Life to check out her stocking stuffer ideas. And make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see what's going to be in Emily's stocking next week when that video goes live. Mm -hmm.